Hey, it's Mike here from South Shore Marine in Huron, Ohio. Uh, standing here in our fiberglass shop, I thought this was a great opportunity with a lineup of boats. Uh, just getting ready to get our uh, standard barrier coat and bottom paint process. I figured I'd do a quick video and uh, just tell a little bit about the process. Uh, it's very important uh, when you're getting your barrier coat and bottom paint that you don't use a skip sand primer. Uh, as you see here, we actually uh, use a DA sander and we hand sand. Uh, get a good prep process on the bottom so we have a good good adhesion of the barrier coat that uh, lasts the life expectancy of the boat. Uh, we use a two-part epoxy barrier coat system. Uh, several coats of that, I think uh, four to five coats. Uh, you can see there's blue masking tape here to tape off the, uh, the bottom paint where the water level is. Uh, but these boats here will be getting DA sanded by hand. Uh, four to five coats of a barrier coat. Uh, and then using a, a high quality uh, anti-fouling bottom paint like Pettit, Seahawk, or Interlux uh, is highly recommended. This is a uh, area that you don't want to skimp out on as far as uh, prep and materials, the quality materials used. So again, uh, South Shore Marine, Mike here, uh, just talking a little bit about our Barracote and bottom paint system. Uh, make sure you get it done right the first time and you'll be extremely happy. Uh, we're seeing three to four seasons with very minimal touch-up, uh, maybe on the outside chine or strakes, uh, and really good uh, feedback and success from our customers uh, when it's done right the first time. I uh, hope this helps. Thanks.